वेलकम टू द लर्निंग ट्री ऑफ इंडियन इंस्टीट्यूट ऑफ बैंकिंग एंड फाइनेंस दिस लर्निंग कैप्सूल विल टेक यू थ्रू द वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट टॉपिक ऑफ साइबर सिक्योरिटी जेम्स हैड टू विजिट हिज बैंक टुडे फॉर केवाईसी अपडेशंस ही सॉ अ बैनर पुट अप ऑन द बैंक्स वॉल डू नॉट शेयर योर नेट बैंकिंग पासवर्ड एंड पिन क्यूरियस ही वाज स्कैनिंग थ्रू द बैनर व्हेन ही हर्ड अ फैमिलियर वॉइस गुड मॉर्निंग जेम्स सो रिलीव टू सी यू हियर टुडे I am in trouble please help me out Calm down John what happened you look very worried I wanted to send some money to my friend in Chennai today I tried to use to my internet banking account but I could not exactly remember my password I typed it thrice and now my password is locked I came to the bank for help they are saying that it will take 24 hours so i made the transfer of funds at the branch however i want to know why it should take 24 hours it's okay john it's for your own benefit just keep your calm and think all these measures are put up by banks to prevent you and millions of other customers from cyber attacks cyber attacks now james what are you talking about oh no john don't get me wrong in today's times Cyber security is most important. These days, the decoys don't come to rob a bank with guns. They just hack into your internet banking account and rob you of your money. And not only you, they can rob millions of customers of all their money by hacking a bank system through internet. Crores of rupees may be stolen in a moment from anywhere in the world, and you, with all your muscles, cannot even trace them. What are you saying, James? You are scaring me now. How do they do that? They can remotely infect a bank's computer systems through viruses, malwares, and ransomwares. All these are malicious computer programs that will momentarily paralyze the bank's network, and any financial or non-financial information can be stolen by these criminals. This is called hacking, and you will not even get to know of it. Now that using a cell phone and computers have become an everyday part of life. It's important to be aware of the different types of online threats. Phishing, wishing and smishing are some of the online scams cyber criminals use to steal private data. Phishing is probably the method cyber criminals use the most. It involves sending fraudulent emails and sending customers to a fake website that looks like their banks. Fraudulent website requests information like IDs, online banking passwords, credit card numbers and even the security code with which they can make online purchases without the knowledge of the customer wishing is phishing over the phone where scammers will try to persuade people to share information by posing as bank staff or other financial service employees smishing is sms phishing where text messages are sent trying to encourage people to pay money out or click on suspicious links should i stop using internet banking once and for all are no don't be so scared criminals are in undoubtedly intelligent but so are banks nobody can stop using internet these days just as people will not stop using roads in fear of accidents just not possible to ignore the power of internet these days banks have formed a robust digital framework to prevent all these cyber attacks as advised by reserve bank of india they have an entire department to constantly evolve and monitor the cyber threats on a real time basis it is not easy to hack into a bank system these days oh that's a relief so the password being locked is intentional from the bank very much so this is for your own benefit just have patience and trust them they are trying to ensure that cyber attacks are prevented at any cost knowledge about cyber threats important Never share your internet banking user ID or password or PIN with anyone, not even with me. Inform your bank immediately if you spot anything unauthorized in your account. Keep your eyes open. Thank you, James. Don't know what will I do without you. Thanks, and thanks for watching.